Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm Luke Ness Monster, and today we do have some very exciting Star Wars Black Series news. This one is kind of surprising to me. I wasn't really expecting it, but I'm really happy we got it because it is super, super interesting. Real quick though, if you're not yet subscribed to the channel, make sure you go down, hit the like button, and subscribe because we're actually doing a giveaway at 7.5 thousand subscribers. So we are actually like 25 subs away, which is incredible. But once we get that milestone, we'll be giving away one of my custom 3D printed stands. These are exclusive to my premium members as of right now, but I'll be giving one away to a lucky subscriber. All you have to do is make sure you are subscribed and then comment on my giveaway video once we hit 7.5k. And then also, once we hit 7.5k, I'll be releasing my trailer for my Star Wars fan film, Hunted. Everything is ready to go on this. It's already uploaded, thumbnails made, titles, every everything's done. All I gotta do is press publish, and I cannot wait to show you guys. I put a lot of time and effort into this, and like I said, I just cannot wait to show it off to you guys. But we are still about 25 subs away from 7.5k, so if you are not yet subscribed, please consider going down and hitting that like button and subscribing. It helps out the channel a lot and gets us just a little bit closer to that sub goal. And last up, if you are not yet subscribed to the gaming channel, make sure to go check it out. It will be linked in the description. We actually just released our first gaming video on the channel, and it was a playthrough of Republic Commando. We're still continuing the playthrough. We only did one episode. It'll probably be a good seven or eight episodes long. So if you do want to tune in for that, if you're just a gaming fan, we're going to be doing a ton of stuff on that channel. So make sure to go check it out. It will be top link in the description. Anyway, on to the news. Anyway, all of these photos... Uh, at least the first two were posted by Yakface, and these are very interesting, but basically there was a cancelled Black Series Echo figure. So this first photo was actually the original mural box artwork for the Bad Batch line, and this was eventually changed because, of course, Echo is actually not in the same place as the box art we did get. Echo is actually next to Wrecker in this, but in the actual uh, box art, he's much farther down the line because he was released later. But taking a closer look at this Echo figure, this is not Echo that we got in the Bad Batch. This is actually, according to the article, or according to the post, this is actually based off of Echo's Season 7 design. And so from, from the post, what I could see is basically that Hasbro designed the Season 7 or uh, designed the the Bad Batch Echo figure off of the Season 7 design of the Clone Wars, but then once Bad Batch released, uh, it was not the same figure. There was uh, changes, obviously Hasbro, or not Hasbro, but Lucasfilm made changes to the character of Echo, and his armor was not the same between Season 7 of Clone Wars and Bad Batch. And so because of that, uh, Echo's armor here in this artwork is incorrect. It's actually more based off of season seven of the Clone Wars. And then this next photo is also posted by Yakface, but here is actually the uh, prototype model for the Echo helmet as shown on the side of the box art. And this is actually really, really cool. Like I said, I do really love this uh, helmet design. And I really wish that, uh, not really with Hasbro, but more with Lucasfilm, I wish they went with this helmet design rather than the new one that we got in the Bad Batch. But um, yeah, this is basically just a Season 7 Echo helmet, and it looks pretty cool. Hopefully one day Hasbro maybe goes back and makes like a prototype Echo figure uh, released in the Bad Batch line. Obviously they've done like prototype Boba Fett and stuff like that. So maybe maybe they'll do a prototype Echo figure because I'd love to see how this figure was going to come out before they decided to scrap it and change it. But yeah, that's basically why uh, Echo is farther down on the line when it comes to the Bad Batch artwork. It's just because his figure ended up having to get delayed so it can be changed and made uh, accurate to the show. Then these next few photos are actually posted by a different Instagram account. His account will be shown in the bottom corner of each photo. So if you do want to check him out, make sure to go uh, look him up on Instagram. But yeah, we do have more of these like uh, like prototype prints, I guess you could say, slash prototype molds for these uh, helmets and head sculpts. And it is actually really, really cool. We do have several different versions of the helmet. But the one that really got me, which I think is pretty cool, is actually the Echo Head without the big earmuffs. And so the earmuffs is the Bad Batch design that uh, that we did actually get, that which is on the figure that you see in front of you. But the version without the earmuffs that actually show his ears is the Season 7 version of the like prototype armor that this new helmet would go on top of. And 
I also really like this head sculpt too. I think I do like the the ears showing a little bit better, and that, that is what we got in season seven. So considering that we already do have all of these molds, because it looks like Hasbro is pretty much almost done with this figure, considering that they already have the artwork done for it. So considering that this figure is almost already done, uh, maybe we could see them reuse all of these pieces to make a season seven echo figure from the clone wars rather than bad batch and so taking a look at the actual version of echo that showed up in season seven the clone wars compared to this artwork on the side of the box uh his armor here looks almost identical as you can tell it does have like the new legs new chest stuff like that obviously the big difference is the helmet but comparing these side by side the only difference that i could find between the bad batch prototype version and the season seven version is the uh, crotch piece. The prototype Bad Batch version actually does have the clone armor crotch piece. And then the season seven version does not have it. He's kind of just wearing pants. And so I think it's very possible Hasbro could make a season seven Echo figure using this prototype Bad Batch figure. You know, considering that they already had all the time, money and effort put into making and sculpting the molds and making prototypes that, uh, you know, they they have all the stuff already made. All they have to do is put it together and release it in the Season 7, what, Clone Wars packaging, and then there you go. So yeah, considering that we already do have all the molds for this, I do think we will be getting a Season 7 Echo figure in the future. Um, I, don't, I can't really say when, uh, but I do think we will be getting one. Like I said, only because Hasbro already put in all of the work into creating this figure, so... I think, I think I'd like to say there is hope we might be getting a Season 7 Echo figure. But uh, yeah, I'd love to see what the original Echo figure that they had planned would have looked like. Because from the prototype here, it looks pretty cool. I'd, lo I'd love to see how it actually did come out. But, you know, that'll probably never happen. I wish there was some better way to find, not even just for Echo, but just other prototype figures and stuff that they've made that never ended up coming out. I'd love to see more of that stuff from Hasbro, but like I said, there's not a really good way to find that kind of stuff. So it is what it is. Either way, though, that is probably going to do it for the video. So if you did enjoy, the like button and subscribe. And then comment down below what you think of this prototype Echo figure. And uh, would you like to see it actually be released in the line? Anyway, guys, that is going to do it for the video. If you did enjoy the like button, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one.